Good morning, backup dancers. It's time to feed some animals. First up to feed is the, these grow outs. They are Millie Fleur Duclays. This is what they look like. They have beautiful fuzzy feet. I say fuzzy, I guess I should say feathered feet. They're absolutely gorgeous. It's one of my favorite chickens. It is a Bantam chicken, which means, if you're not familiar with what Bantam means, it means a small chicken and i have probably about six to eight hens and probably three roosters so i am going to have to make some hard decisions about the roosters because there's no way i can have that many roosters in this fence all right now to set up the mister if i can find the where is oh here's the end of the hose if i can find the end of the hose so every morning now, I'll come out here and connect the mister. It is morning time right now. It's Saturday morning, and I have a lot to do today. I have my grandson, and so I have some entertaining to do. So now to turn on the water and get the mister going. So the animals have not quite caught on yet that the mister is here. So I'm still working with them to try to show them that the mister is along this side. So I went and did something. I bought some treats to feed them right here at the mister. And they're called cattle cubes. They're made by Mana Pro. They're actually just for cattle, but I looked on the back to make sure there was no copper in it because the sheep cannot have copper. And it looks like all my animals can eat these. So let's see what they think. I'm going to start out in the middle of the pasture and slowly work my way towards the fence to see if I can get them to notice the mister. Why every time Shane leaves to go to work, I have a problem? Like, I need him to work from, <laughs> from home because the hose is leaking. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It's leaking. I have it as tight as it can be and it's just not working. It's always something. So now I have a pocket full of treats and the mister's not gonna work. So since I already have a pocket full of treats, I might as well go out here and just feed the animals and tell them good morning. I just found the problem, look. The washer is down there and it should be in there. So I need to get the washer and put it back on. <laughs> At least I found the problem. You have to, you know, toot my horn for that, you know? Okay, so I'm assuming it goes into here is what I'm thinking. And then I screw this back on. If this works, I'm gonna be so proud of myself. Okay, hang on. All right, screwing it back on. I bet this is what's wrong. If you're a guy and you're watching me, you're like, yes, Jody. Okay, but you know, you have to learn. All right, let's go turn the water back on. That was the problem. Thank goodness I saw it on the ground. I'm not really sure. I guess when I undid it last night, it fell out without me realizing, but I fixed it. All right, I'm gonna walk out here Mom's got some treats. Come here, Lily. Come here, Lily. Leroy, look. You better come on, Dee Dee. <laughs> you want a treat? There you go. All right. Let's, we're going to walk. We're going to give them treats first, and then we're going to walk towards the fence. Dee Dee. Come on. Come on. 
I may have to walk up here and lure them down here. Dee Dee and Dexter are in the... Okay, I gave Dee Dee a treat. Maybe she'll come out here and I'll lure her out here. I can't believe the goats are not attacking me. Look, <laughs> Leroy knows I got treats. Come on! Here comes Dexter. Okay. So, once I start giving them treats, then we're going to go... Okay, here you go, Dexter. Here you go. There you go, buddy. You want one, Dee Dee? You want one, Dexter? Oh, boyfriend wants... Boyfriend, sit down, boyfriend. Sit. Good boy. Okay. Okay. Let's... Here you go, baby girl. Wait, you can only have one at a time. Just one at a time. Don't you bite me, Leroy. Okay, here you go. All right, we're getting them closer. Okay, here you go. Here you go. There you go, Dee Dee. Dexter, you got to take it. Look, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Here you go. Here's your one. Good boy. Good boy. Here you go. Where's Cinco? Okay, we're going closer to the fence. Okay, hang on. All right, come on. Come on, let's go over here with the mister. Feels good to me. All right, come on. All right, what I'm going to do, they're on the mister now, so the mister is hitting them. Good boy, Leroy. Okay, okay, slow down, slow down. Slow down. Okay, we are definitely in the mister. So now my thing is, I'm gonna go to the other side of the fence and feed them. All right, now my job is to go to this side of the fence and coach them to eat through the fence. All right, here we go. All right, they're up here. You see them? Good girl. All right, you feel that, mister? Does that feel good? You need to thank my subscribers for that. Yes, you do. You need to thank my subscribers. All right, look at them. Okay, you see that they're in the mister? All right, here you go. Here you go, baby girl. Did you, you want some? Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Come on. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Good boy. Good boy. It's crazy that a bull will kiss you in the face, isn't it? You want one? There you go. You want one, Doctor? Here you go, Dee Dee. Cinco! Cinco hasn't quite learned. Okay, let me give Leroy one. So we've got boyfriend in here. I don't know you can't see him, but boyfriend's in here. Leroy's in here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you see how cute they are? Okay, they're getting good and misted. Hey, y'all need to y'all need to give a shout out to those folks. They're the reason y'all have this. You need to get a big old shout out. Stick your tongue out. If you love them, stick your tongue out. If you love them, if you say thank you, stick your tongue out. Good <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Okay, that was pretty funny, wasn't it? <laughs> there you go. Okay, let's give Dee Dee one. All right. All right. So, shout out to Hissa, which is who has made these cute little yellow boots that I have on um, they sent me these boots um, and you know I'm all about some fashion right <laughs> I'm all about fashion and uh, they wanted me to look cute on the farm and so they sent me these cute little yellow boots and I love them so they'll be a cute little addition let's see here's Cinco let's see if I can get Cinco to eat it can Dexter, you let your daughter eat. <laughs> Dexter. <laughs> but I really like these boots. They're comfortable. And, you know, on the days you feel like being cute, sure does make a nice little addition to your farm attire. They love the, these um, treats smell like apples. So thanks, Hissa, for making me look and feel really cute today. Thank you.
Y'all already know this, but I had to separate Shishi, right? So look at her in the mister. Hang on. She's loving it. She's hitting her. She is loving it. Come on, Frey. Come on, Frey. I'm take you a treat. Freddy treats treats really soft. There you go. See, Freddy's now in the mister. She she hasn't caught on. Oh, she she's catching on that there's treats over here. I can't let she she take from my hand because she takes treats really hard. Hey, no, no, no. See how they get? They act crazy when there's treats. So with she she, I have to ha kind of throw the treats out. She's that dog who takes the treat hard. <laughs> she's awful. Um, so I just kind of have to throw theirs on the ground, but I'll throw them over here by the mister. So, uh, they'll stay in it. Pigs are pretty much caught on. The thing that's cracking me up is Leroy, the donkey, is loving it. And I have never been able to spray him with the hose. Now, the only thing that, if you notice, there's one animal that is missing from this equation, right? Have you guessed what it is? Put it in the comments. I'm not going to tell you what animal's missing from the equation. I want you to tell me. And out of appreciation for all your kindness with me and following me and subscribing to my page and so forth, I want to give a shout out to one of you. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give a shout out every single video at the end of the video. And so for the people that comment, I'm going to randomly pick a subscriber to give a shout out to when they comment. So if you decide that you know what animal is missing from the misting pen that I haven't been able to lure to the fence yet, I want you to comment and then I'm just going to randomly pick one person and give a shout out to. Good luck. I've been having a little bit of issue with a turkey and a hen that's in the chicken house. It's these two jokers right here. So let's talk about it. All right, the turkey's there, the hen's there, and they keep sitting in the na same nesting box. There's no eggs under them, and they have been there for over a month. I don't know about you, but when a hen has been sitting that long and dying to be a mother that bad, I try to let her, but I'm not gonna let her sit there for another 21, 28 days on the hen on the nest and then fight over baby chicks and all that stuff. So remember the eggs that I have in the incubator? Remember the rotten egg? I did a video a couple of, I don't know, last week about the rotten egg. Well, there is a bunch of chicks that are going to hatch in the next three days. So I've decided to take those chicks and give them to the turkey and the chicken. <laughs> Stuff like that I'm very sensitive to. And I know there's difference in animals versus humans. Like, but I can't help to think when an animal is wanting to be a mother that bad, I can't help but to think about mothers that are unable to get pregnant or lose their baby, um, you know, during pregnancy, stuff like that. I can't help but to think because I've had friends myself that have been through that. And I remember the heartache that they went through. So I think about my animals wanting to be a mom and I just don't want to put them through that. Now, I don't know if they have feelings per se like a human being, but I feel like they do. Because what I'm gonna tell you something, when a mother hatches babies or a mother gives birth, it is almost like they're instantly a different person or different animal. 
you can see the confidence then. You can see the overprotection of their babies. They're protective. They go and teach them how to eat and how to drink and all those things. And so I do feel like animals have feelings. That's me personally. You don't have to agree with me, but I do. And when a hen sits that long, I just don't think it's fair to tell her that she can't be a mother. I said earlier that I had a lot going on today. I closed my farm for tours today because a local farm in our area that used to be a petting zoo called me and they wanted to donate a bunch to my farm. And so today I'm taking the truck to go get all the donations to bring it back to the farm. So also I told you that I have my grandson this weekend and he's been wanting to play with those piglets. I do want to let you know that the other four are doing really well. They're all eating great. They're playing well together. Um, they're learning trust because piglets, I mean, scream when you pick them up. Pigs don't like to be picked up. Um, so once you put them on the ground, they'll run around and play with you. But I have to pick them up to go put them in the playpen. So during the day, they're in uh, a little enclosure that has a heat lamp and where I can feed them. And then for playtime, they go into the big pen. Aren't they cute? Which one's your favorite? That one. <laughs> They've got to learn trust. something funny <laughs> to share with y'all. Are y'all ready for this? So my grandson Eli and I were outside and I told you I had four girls left, right? Well, we were outside and I noticed that two of them are peeing from the bottom <laughs> and two of them are peeing from the back. So, so my grandson informed me, he said, Juju, you have two boys and two girls. And I said, oh. So I learned something new. So I learned that piglets are really hard to sex right off the bat. <laughs> it's not something you can visually see like you think you could see. Um, you know, rabbits, you can't sex right off the bat. It takes about five weeks for you to tell the sex of a rabbit. Um, same thing with the chicken. Um, obviously with a goat or a cow, you can tell right off the bat, but a piglet is a little bit different. 